On that much weight that fast isn't natural or healthy, I think. I ended up breaking a joint in my shoulder. I had Alan Michael Richton, AKA Reacher, AKA the GOAT, Thad Castle, also played Aquaman in the series Smallville as well. He was born November 28th, 1982, and has set the internet on storm because he gained 30 pounds of muscle in I think eight or nine months. Maybe it was even six months. We're gonna break it down today though. Who am I guys? My name is Quan. I've been a personal trainer for about 13 years folks i've been training in the gym for 18 years myself and i live here in southern california i work at gold's gym venice beach i'm a private personal trainer there i've also worked with celebrities in my past so today i'm going to break down the diet and training of alan rich and i've done this series before folks i did videos on people like jonathan majors michael b jordan lebron james and most recently hugh jackman for the deadpool 3 film so if any of that sounds good to you check out those other videos when you get the chance don't forget to like comment and subscribe for your boy we're growing we've been having a great time been back on it. i think we're on day 10 or 11 of uploading every single day so comment down below who you want me to break down next and let's get into the diet and training of alan rich Let's get right into these clips. We're gonna review them right on the screen. Let's get to work. As I said, we gotta see what Thad Castle's been up to. I know y'all know him as Reacher, but that was my show. Blue Mountain State, when I was younger, was one of my favorite shows. It used to be on Spike TV. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It would not fly today. The things they talked about were crazy, but Thad Castle, or Alan got me inspired to work out, inspired to train. I was a college football player at the time, playing Division Three at Carthage College, so it was really awesome. But let's hear from Alan's mouth what it took to become Reacher. I was 205, 6'3", 205. I needed to put on 30 pounds. That was like my mandate from the studio. You cannot show up to set without being. For Reacher. I had right. eight months to do it. Wow. Okay. I built a gym in my house, okay. and I worked my ass off every day. I did it without any help. No steroids, no testosterone, nothing. Good for you. Just hard work. Like, I work out 30, 45 minutes a day. I get it in, get a little pump. I might have a slice of pizza for lunch because no, I, no, I feel don't. like it, you know, and I had a Sunday last night. But it's important that people know I didn't, t I never took testosterone until well after season one. So like, it's possible to do it on your own. Very, very interesting way to talk about it. I like his honesty, right? So he said he didn't take any tea before af or until after season one. So he's admitting that he has now, you know, become an enhanced athlete. But before that, he said that first season, he was 100% natty. And I think that's actually very believable. His physique in the first se season was very different from his second season. You saw the bloat in his face. You saw the telltale signs that we're used to seeing, all right? So he was also interviewed by Men's Health where he talks about his, his, trans um, his transformation. So let's go to see what he said to Men's Health. Let's see what he had to say what was the process like to become reacher man that, that was that was the first time in my life that i had a studio executive call and tell me i had to be a certain weight i want to throw you out of a helicopter so i built a gym in my house and started using weights really primarily for the first time up until that point my basic workout was push-ups pull-ups dips and sit-ups anywhere there was like monkey bars i would run there i would do four sets of 25 of each and I would run back. I still do that. I'll do a lot of core stuff in here, trying to get the legs up. That was like the foundation of my workout for a long time. But to add that extra 30 pounds, it took a next level uh, set of resistance. So I don't know if you guys remember what he looked like in Smallville, but when he was uh, playing Aquaman in Smallville, he was like that, like, you know, the teen heartthrob kind of body, right? You know, very smooth, enough muscle, but like if you were an 18 year old boy, you'd be like, man, I wish I looked like that, right? That's kind of the physique he had back in the day. Also, Smallville is one of my favorite series of all time. This man's been following me my whole life. I love it. <laughs> Doesn't even know I exist. But I gotta say, man, I gotta give him credit. I really, really, really love his transparency, man. I love what he's been saying about his training. All right, so let's get into his diet. Let's see what, let's see what Mr. Rich has been eating, man to put on this size to look good to have this physique and let's uh again at the end we're going to talk about you know how this pertains to you and what we can do as normal people here to achieve our best physiques let me show you what a day of eating for me really looks like this is the god's honest truth ready this this is my breakfast pre-made packs of oatmeal i like a little variety in my life so I'll take the uh, apples and cinnamon, or my favorite, which I'm almost out of, and it's a little scary, the maple and brown sugar. I put it in the microwave for the perfect 27 seconds. I'm a little obsessive. Doesn't wanna be mushy, don't wanna be too hot. 27 seconds, two packs, that's my breakfast. Here's my lunch. This is what I do for lunch. I'm gonna show you what I do. I open this guy. This is a fresh one. I just need, oh, but they put the price tag right over the zipper. Didn't expect Jack Reacher to struggle with the deli cheese. Here, I'll open it like this. Okay. You take some cheese. I take two pieces of Swiss. 
You don't want to overdo it. You're not eating a cheese taco. You're eating a meat cheese taco. You take some, some turkey. You do one little, you don't want to overdo it. So just one little plop or two. There we go. One little stripe of mustard. The cheese is the bread. So you got your little flavor in the middle. You got your protein and you got your meat and cheese taco. I could eat 50 of these. Do you guys want one? Dude, they're the best. What do you have for dinner? Dinner, dinner is good. This is my wife's lovely homemade turkey meatloaf. Very lean, tons of protein. Sometimes we'll have some mashed potatoes in it if I need a little carbs. And we have some greens, like salad or green beans. So as you can see, he eats a pretty basic diet, right? And then some other clips he goes on to say that he eats about six times a day, three main meals and then three snacks, right? Um, I gotta say, this guy has a great personality. I mean, watching him on here, I, I mean, you can call me a fanboy, you can call it glazing, whatever you want, but I, I just, there's nothing better than seeing a guy this level of honesty. He's absolutely amazing. So as a trainer, as someone reviewing his, his content, I, huge fan but with that diet guys you know for you as you're trying to eat and trying to grow and trying to train i honestly say building muscle is all about consistency you have to consistently eat i know a lot of guys will be like oh i eat a lot they'll eat like 5,000 calories one day and then the next two days eat like a thousand calories and say no man this week i ate a lot i would rather you eat 4,000 calories a day every day or 3,500 every day consistently than kind of yo-yo on your calories if you're trying to put on quality muscle and size so I mean, it's absolutely amazing watching him talk about this. Let's move on to his training. Let's see what uh, our, our old friend Thad Castle has to say about training. So since becoming enhanced, he's talked about doing more full body workouts as opposed to body part splits. So here's what he says about training full body in the gym and going hard. What I consider an intense workout is when I hit a full body day as hard as I can. That's gonna include lunges, split squats, leg extensions and leg curls. So that'll be the lower half. On the upper half, I'll hit the chest, and my goal is to get to 100 reps of bench. I'll start on incline and I'll end on decline. I'm trying to do, you know, like 225, so heavy weights. I'll walk that all the way down. If I can get through that, I think I've won. <laughs> it's tough to get through. So as you can see for him, it's always been about volume. His body responds very well to volume. Earlier, he talked about doing 25 push-ups and 25 sit-ups. I mean, this man, you know, for some reason, has always had a very high level of muscular endurance no matter what he's doing. I think this goes into genetics, right? He's 6'3", really, you know, strong, athletic, fast. Genetics and, like, the, your predisposition to certain types of training is going to be very helpful. That's why I always tell people to try different styles of training. He's always been heavily into, you know, higher reps. And for him, his body responds well to that no matter what he has going in to outside of his body. That's why I always tell people don't put so much focus on if someone is like natty or not or if they've done different things. At the end of the day, everyone responds differently to different things. I've seen guys running all sorts of crazy stuff. I've worked in bodybuilding gyms most of my career. And what I've noticed about those guys is it seems like, you know, people just take a bunch of stuff and they get like bloated, but they never like, you know, have a really good shape to them. The people with the best shape are the people who do all the little parts. They, they eat well, they train hard, but then they also have a little bit of the genetics um, that helps them over time as well. So we're going to go into one more training video here. We're going to see him talk about his triceps, folks. First group of exercises that we're going to do is working the buys and tries. Everybody's seen this before, but what I like to do is work with the rope for both the top and the bottom. So uh, we're gonna do a tricep pull down superset where we do a pull down into an overhead extension. We're gonna kill the triceps with that. And then we're gonna drop that rope and we're gonna do kind of looks like a hammer curl. Right, we're trying to aim for 25 reps of each, four sets. If we look at this as a numbers game and we take that old school model of working out that I grew up with that I was told a million times where you do maybe eight, eight muscle groups, three sets of 10 times, you know, I do six sets. The hypertrophy begins between 15 and 25 reps. And we, we take that, you know, to failure right at 25. So again, this is why I always say we shouldn't necessarily take our workout advice from a celebrity. He said hypertrophy is 15 and 25 reps. I actually have found it to be more like eight to 15, um, typically typically more 12 to 15, uh, but anything over 15 reps, I mean, it's more endurance. But as we said earlier, he it responds very well to endurance-based workouts, right? It was like that when he was in high school. It's like that now when his, he's 41 years old in his 40s. So again, 
just because it works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for more of the masses. So I would always, again, say if you want to try something and try a training style, do it for 12 to 16 weeks. Look, okay, a free training program on the line. Follow that for 12 to 16 weeks and you're going to be great. And as for diet, we went over diet earlier. One thing I didn't mention was if you're trying to you know, improve your diet, I would say the best way to start is to go online, look up a free macronutrient calculator, find one of those, type in your height, weight, goal. <clears throat> It'll give you a great caloric starting point so you don't have to worry like about the guesswork of figuring out what you need to put in your body, how you're going to put in your body. And you don't have to just run around looking at different people trying to figure out what they do. You can test different methods on yourself for three to four months at a time. Look at what works, look at what doesn't work, especially when you have multiple multiple sets of that together and you'll be able over the course of a year to really figure out what works with your body but it requires you to be dedicated it requires you to be focused you have to understand that no one is responsible for your body except for you so you have to be able to do the work all right in summary let's look at alan's kind of overall summer summarization of what he's been doing in the gym and his training and his transformation over time on that much weight that fast isn't natural or healthy, I think. I ended up breaking a joint in my shoulder. I had a shoulder surgery. One thing I learned for me when you're working out that often was going from targeted exercises where it's like, today's my bicep and tricep day, is I would do full body exercises. Every day, Monday through Friday, I'm getting a little bit of legs, a little bit of arms, a little chest and back. So that's a great way to end this video, guys. Like it's, it's again, it's about learning what works for your body. He found that traditional bodybuilding style splits, like you saw in that second workout clip I put up, didn't really work for his body. He found that that other way he had trained for years, the high volume combined with full body made him a lot better. <clears throat> now, he also had some clips in there where he talked about... Um, how he doesn't like to train legs by themselves, but now with his full body, he's still able to do them. He also mentioned that he has trouble back squatting because of some issues with his spine and his lower back. I often find that taller lifters have a little bit of trouble with their knees and lower back as they get older. I mean, everyone does, but I feel like with taller people, it seems to be like a, a little curse that we deal with. But I mean, what do you think of his training? <clears throat> Do you think you can apply it to yourself? I think with any of these videos, it's always fun to compare and contrast and see what people are doing in the gym. But I also think you have to take the time to understand that this is just what they're doing. That doesn't mean you're going to do it. Doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Doesn't mean it's going to be, you know, it's going to be the most beneficial for you to train that way. So but I'm going to continue to break these workouts down for you guys just as a trainer who's been training for a long time. Try to put it in terms that are a little bit more simple for you guys. If you guys want me to get more technical, elaborate more, please tell me that in the comments and I'll make these videos a little bit longer, a little bit more jam-packed with uh, even more information. I would love to continue to show you guys what I do in the gym as well. I got a video coming out later this week of me training in the gym. Um, the title is going to be something a little funny, probably having to do with like uh, um, the stuff that's been going on in the dating world. What's it called that everybody's been talking about? On. I can't even remember right now. Oh, the soft guy era. So I'm going to probably make a video, a training video where like me and my girl go to the gym or something and I ask her some fun questions, but we also get a good workout in. I'm trying to make entertaining content for you guys as well as break different things down. But I appreciate you guys joining me for another video. Again, remember, suggest people down below for me to make videos about. I appreciate and love you guys. It's day 11 of uploading every single day. And at the end, I'm going to have a nice summary for you guys. My goal is to make 100 days. We'll see. But until then, I appreciate and love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, keep making those gains. Keep listening, but also learn how to take that information and apply it to yourself. Test it on you. 12 to 16 weeks, folks. All right. All right. I appreciate and love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks. Check out one of these videos, too, if you get the chance.